Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry I sound a little tired, more like exhausted during this video because yesterday was like a really long day. Went to the beach and the beach always wipes me out. I can just be there for a short amount of time and it just wipes me out. I really got bad sunburn. I always get sunburn no matter, I feel like no matter how much sunscreen I put on I still somehow get sunburned you obviously can't see it but it's on like my shoulders and my legs and a little bit on my feet but um I do always burn there's just no way around it so I'm just still so wiped out from the beach um but I wanted to come in on this video because I actually been waiting for these two orders because I was gonna like combine them in one video and then one order was not coming so I was like oh I guess I'm just gonna do separate videos but um they came in time so I'm happy um so I am going to talk about the Louis Vuitton dupe that I found that's the first thing I'm going to talk about in this video um I was at work and I just happened to be like scrolling online and I was on walmart.com and sometimes you can find some good head and gems at walmart target and um and i was able to find a hidden gem so i was looking through handbags as always what else is new with me i'm always looking at handbags and new handbags and um i saw something that looked very similar to a louis vuitton bag um and I clicked on it and I saw a lot of things, not just the handbag, it had other stuff too. And I was like, went on the Louis Vuitton website, I'm like, wow, these are very similar. And I don't care about not having the real thing. I mean, I always say to myself, when I just love to treat myself to a very luxury bag, like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, all those high-end brands, but I don't think I'll ever get there. I'm not going to spend over $1,000 for a bag. Um... I'm not going to ask somebody to gift me a thousand dollar bag either. A lot of people say, oh, just ask it for Christmas, ask it for your birthday. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, I have bigger goals and better things than to spend a thousand dollars on a handbag. So if I can find something that is close, um, very similar, and I know it's not the real thing, but I don't care, that's all that counts to me. So I'm going to show you guys the bag I found at Walmart and you're going to tell me did I do good <laughs> so this is what it looks like does this look familiar to anybody yes it is like such a close dupe because I went on the website and I'll show you guys um it's in white they didn't have it in black but look that's on the Louis Vuitton website so to me look how close that is that is so similar to what i'm holding my hand yes this is white i couldn't find it in black on the louis website um on walmart.com they have this in white they have it out of stock right now but they do have it in white because i saw people's reviews and they were taking pictures of the bag and they did have it in white um so the brand at walmart is called daisy rose and the tote that i got they have it right now in solid brown solid white and solid black and then the print that i got the just black they did have white i like the white checker but i don't know now they don't so i don't know what happened with that um but and the bag is 49 dollars 98 cents so let's talk about that 49 49 dollars basically round out to 50 to a thousand dollar I think the tote that I have a picture of right now is how much one thousand five hundred and eighty dollars so basically a fifteen hundred dollar bag to fifty dollars when they look so alike they have the exact same thingies right here I mean it's exactly the same bag like how like how impressive is that I, I just was like okay all right I have a Louis dupe I'll take it not the real thing but I'll still take the dupe <laughs> so I got a few more things to add with it I'm not gonna do obviously a what's in my purse video with this purse because I just did that video so you guys can just click on that video if you're interested because everything that was in my purse in the last videos is in this purse the only thing that's different is the extra things that I got so they have with the line Daisy Rose they have 
um, a makeup bag, they have a keychain pouch, they have a wallet, which they have in the white checker, which is like weird. They have a crossbody bag, a wristlet wallet and phone clutch, um, another um, zipped up wallet, they have a backpack, and they even call it luxury. They have a passport, a multi-card wallet clutch, a dog keychain, a laptop case, um, an evening bag, a phone holder, ID card, and that's it. So they have everything with the Daisy Road brand and it looks like the whole Louis dupe. So I, I bought the bag and I bought the matching, if I can get it over here, the matching dog keychain, which I thought was gonna be much smaller because of the picture, but it's pretty big. Look how cute this thing is. It is so cute. I just had to get it because it went with the bag. And the keychain was $14.98. A little pricey for a keychain, but okay. And then the next thing I got from the brand is the makeup clutch. This is pretty big. Fits a lot in it. Like, look at that. Fits a lot in it. It's pretty deep, which I like. And it says the brand right inside, right here. Same thing with the bag. It says in the inside. Like, like I said, I don't care. Um, I just think, like, look how, like, I can't, the print is just so similar. So if you think about it, you're getting all this. It's a fifteen hundred dollar bag. It's just ways of just saving. Um, and I can fit, I mean, I put all like my essential things that I carry on a daily basis in here. Like if you saw my last video, but, um, I can also fit so much makeup in this too. So I really like this. This is definitely worth it. And the makeup bag was, how much was it? $23 and 78 cents. Um, right when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I have to order this. <laughs> I mean, I have to, and I love big bags, so, and the only thing I like in the inside, it does come with this little um, pouch, which I just keep uh, change in it, just quickly grab some change, but it, it's hooked in the bag, you, you can unhook it if you guys want to know, you can unhook this, you don't need to have it hooked, but I just keep a hook and I just keep changing it, but to me, it looks exactly like a Louis bag. Like, can you not argue that this looks like a Louis no. bag? So yeah, go to walmart.com. It's the brand called uh, Daisy Rose. Definitely look into it. Like I said, they have a bunch of other things. They have crossbody bags, laptop case. I just think it's really cute. If you're looking for like a dupe and you don't want to spend 1500 at Louis Vuitton store and you want something similar, you want to feel like you have a luxury bag, well, I have to say, for the quality, this is really good. And the inside is just black. Let me pick it up. I've lost it this bag. It's just black, and it's really good quality. Like, it feels really good quality. Like, it doesn't feel... Um, you can't find it in the store. I have to actually add that. I could not find this in any... I went to three, Wal three Walmarts, and not in the store at all. So I had to order all this online. It took about four days for it to come. Really fast shipping. So that's another good bonus that it was really fast shipping. But can you just, it's so worth it. You just wanna like, you know, feel like you have some type of luxury. And like I said, the quality is really good. I have no complaints about the quality. The shipping, it was well like packed and stuff to keep it protected. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend checking that out. Trying it out. If you're into like the Louis Vuitton bag, but you you know you don't want to spend that money or you just can't afford it or yeah. So oh and also by the way, as you can tell my hair is not red anymore. <laughs> so you know on the video I think I said three shampoos. This took about seven to eight shampoos to get the full red out. It's pretty much out. I mean there's a little hint of it. I still kind of see like a little bit of it but not as much so it took about like seven shampoos to get it out which is still pretty impressive because i thought the third shampoo would be fully out but i still had that tint like it wasn't as vibrant as it was in the previous video but i did have that tint so it's kind of crazy so i would definitely try that product if you're looking for temporary color but now salons and stuff are going to start opening up so you might not have to worry about that anymore and then i made the second part of this video is my Bath and Body Works order that I made. So, I ordered from Bath and Body Works. 
about a month ago. It took a whole month for this package to go. Um, I don't know why it took so long, but it did. And I just wanted to get um, some summer scents. I have a lot of winter and fall because usually I go to Bath and Body Works on like Black Friday and get all like the winter scents and all the fall scents and everything like that. I don't have any summer or spring, I realized. I looked at my candle collection. I'm like, wow, I really don't have anything for the spring or the summer. So I made an order because they were having a sale on their wallflowers and I have two wallflower holders. I have one in the living room and one in my bathroom and I only have winter scents and I'm like, okay, I'm tired of smelling Christmas and stuff. I want to smell like spring, summer, fresh, light smells. Plus I want a candle that summery. So I was a little being brave because usually I like to smell candles. Sometimes, you know, they're strong. Sometimes they're just not what I want them to be. <laughs> but I was pretty impressed so like I said this took a month but it was well worth the month I already opened it obviously but so they didn't have a sale on the candles the only thing that was sale was the wallflowers but I wanted to get at least one candle so I got the summer boardwalk candle because I just love the smell of a boardwalk <laughs> like all the food and just like uh the beach in general if they had a beach candle i would have got that but i don't i really don't know not that i was looking for a beach candle but it smells so good it smells like boardwalk food it smells like the ocean it just smells so good i mean i smell the ocean but probably people are like yeah i don't smell the ocean but i do i smell syrup too i don't know why it smells a little syrupy too but i cannot wait to burn this because now my whole place will smell like a boardwalk and it will smell like summer Another thing that I also do not have is a candle holder that's summery. I have only like winter and Christmas candle holders. So I'm like, okay, I need to get on the summer candle holder. They had a mermaid one, guys. I so badly wanted to get it. It was more expensive. Um, this one was like $12.95, while the other one was like 20 something. And my husband's like, do you really need it? Do you really, you know? But I looked at reviews and people constantly said it came broken, like they didn't package it well and it came broken and they said they recommended to buy in the store. So I said, okay, worst case, when Bath & Body Works opens up, I'll just go in there and get the mermaid holder. Not a big deal. So I got this one and it has um, seashells all over it. And on the computer, it had blue. This does not have blue in it, um, but whatever i still like it and this is what it's gonna look like with the candle so it's gonna look very summery and i'm really excited so and the candle was on sale so you know candle 24 50 bath and body works candles are expensive but they're the only candles i'll use i don't like yankee candles i don't even ask i just don't like any yankee candles i only like bath and body works candles i don't not get any other type of candles I don't know why I just don't I can't even explain it I just like their candles I feel like their candles like the smell is like stay strong like forever so next thing I got was tons of wallflowers because they were like buy a certain amount and get them for like seven dollars or something I forget so I got tons and tons of wallflowers and I can't wait to smell them all because I've never smelled any of them so it's just going with, hmm, this has to smell good, right? Because <laughs> usually when I'm in the store, this is like, this is one thing, another thing I can never order online. This is something, another brave move for me because I like to smell things before I buy it. That sounded really weird. Things that you need to smell, like perfumes and stuff. I just can't, you know. This is getting even more difficult than it is, so. Um, so I got Island Margarita. So I thought, hmm, this has to smell like a nice... Well, obviously a margarita so I was like okay this probably smells good I can work with that one this one's called renew and refresh so I thought this would have to be like a nice refreshing smell not too sure yet but this has to definitely be something refreshing obviously I know what fresh linen smells like I love the smell of fresh linen am I the only one who loves the smell of fresh linen so I thought this would be really good for the bathroom because <laughs> I just love the smell of it um, I got Bergamot Waters. I don't know if I'm even saying that right, but I figured this has to smell like fresh water. I don't know. <laughs> um, I got 
something rain. I can't even read today. You, you go, whatever, rain. Some type of rain scent. So I thought that would be good smell. I got coconut, which who does not like the smell of coconut in the summer and the spring? Well, spring is over. Let's just get that point. I got beet peach bellini which i have this in a uh, body spray so i know this smells really good it's like really smells good this one's a new one and it just kind of like intrigued me a little bit strawberry pound cake so um i used to never like candles or scents that had to do with food because i feel like oh it would make you hungry or something well it does I will give you that. That is the truth. But I do have right now, if you can believe it, I have in my living room right now, chocolate lava cake candle. And let me tell you, my husband came home, he's like, did you make dessert? He came home and he's like, it smells like chocolate cake. I'm like, yeah, I'm burning a candle. <laughs> he really thought I made chocolate cake. So I was like, I wonder if this will make it smell like strawberry pound cake. I really wonder if this is really strong. Like I will... I really cannot wait to try this one out. <laughs> I'm really intrigued about how strawberry pound cake, like this would smell like. I, I don't know. It's just, is it just me? Like I'm just very intrigued to see how that will smell. Like yeah, I got all the wallflowers for $4.80. That to me is a really good deal. Because they were on sale. They didn't have a candle sale yet, but let me tell you, when they do have a candle sale, I'll be out there again some more summer candles. I feel like I have no summer candles. Like I bought one because that's just what I did for now. But believe me, I'm gonna go out there and get some more summer candles when Bath and Body Works opens. Yes. I am. Definitely gonna do that. Oh, so that's the end of this video. I'm so tired. Oh my god. But um Hope everyone's enjoying the weekend. It's so beautiful out. Like yesterday was really hot and gorgeous out. Today's another, like I think it's supposed to be in like the high 70s today, but another gorgeous day. So I hope everyone's making the best of this weekend and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, yeah, all right guys, see you later.